Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Sarah Wan, thank you so much for being here on the Valder BB Show. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know that Sarah Wan's my next guest. She's the executive director of the Community Youth Center of San Francisco. Sarah, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about change makers. What does it take to be a change maker? Uh, That's a great question. Being a change maker really means seeing like a problem in a community and working with our fellow members to address that issue. This is a lot of time often like done with collaborating with others, including our uh, department, city department, our community partners, our residents to really dive deep to understand the issues and get the necessary resource to address the needs. So in our case, along with our community partners, UIC is working to improve the health and well-being of the Asian American and Pacific Islanders by really addressing the recent uptick of the anti-Asian hate and violence issues to make sure that our API community constituents will have access to quality and equitable health care, mental health supports, as well as receiving the education so that we know how to combat this issue. Okay, you want to close the health gaps and the inequity gaps in the Asian American communities. So what will the youth center play in this role that you want to have? Well, we were founded in 1970, so we've been around for 51 years. And we're really trying to work with our community partner together to develop a cultural competent network that really prioritize violence prevention and health and wellness interventions, tackle this anti-Asian hate and anti-Asian violence issues by coming together and to really through community educations and cross-cultural collaboration coming together to address the issue. As you know, uh, Congress is passing, working on the uh, anti-Asian hate crime bill. Will that affect anything that you're trying to do or will this help it? I think there's definitely a big encouragement that will really get like the level to actually uh, to national level to raise awareness about these issues and also to really put a lot of pressure on hate crime and also to work with the community together to combat these issues. Um, That's why I think we're really proud, especially as uh, the American Heart Association Social Impact Fund recipient, so that we can use the fund to support our work to provide in-language services to victims of any hate incident and hate crime so that they could have access to mental health services and also other necessary resources that they need. So this is really a big encouragement that not only raising awareness, but putting more resources in the Asian Pacific Islander community. Okay, and this comes from one of the platforms they listen to us on, which are multiple. This one comes from Facebook. They want to know with uh, uh, what you're doing about bringing health and awareness to health for Asian Americans. Will that only be for Asian American and Pacific Islanders? Will that uh, involve the larger communities that are underserved involved? I think for any violence prevention strategy, we can't just do it with our own community. First, we really need to strengthen and have everybody understanding the issue within our community, then really raise our voice. But most importantly is how we actually work and build bridges with other cross-cultural community. We have actually our young people as a youth center that come together from different ethnic backgrounds to really address this issue, make recommendations to ensure that equitable and quality education at the school site for anti-bullying issues and also how have the young people be the next generation leader that could come together to build solidarity so that we can always work against any form of discriminations or racism uh, in the United States. That sounds good because to eradicate the problem, you can't, it's like, you know, when you have an infestation of something, you have to move it. You have to remove it from all the places, not just one place. And my final question is, 
Uh, what can the listeners do to drive change in their own communities, whether they're Asian, Latina, African-American, doesn't matter. What can they do to make changes in their own communities? Very important is really how you engage in your community. When you see something wrong, well, you need to do reporting. Data, data is very important to tell us where are the issues and how we can address the issues and bring appropriate resources together there. So we can't be silent anymore. We need to work together. Sir Juan, online, can they get some directions or guidance or information? Sure. And for more information, uh, everyone can visit the American Heart Association's Social Impact Fund website at heart.org slash fund. Sarah Wan, this has been very informative. Thank you for being here and continue the fight. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.